occurred back in like May. Basically that's what I'm gonna be doing today is telling you guys what's been going on, how I've been handling stuff, has anything changed, you know just stuff like that. Before we get started make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. I need all the help I can get because YouTube been trying to stop your girl back. You feel me like like YouTube straight been stop, trying to stop your girl back, like, on some hate stuff. So make sure you guys comment more video suggestions because I need more video ideas because I'm trying to give you guys content and more content more often. But, like, I just, you know, be having a writer's block, you know, well, creative, creativity block because I... It's so hard coming up with videos when you're on your channel by yourself. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and join the family because you know we live on this side, baby. Peep, peep the curls. If y'all haven't noticed, I brought the wigs back. <laughs> so, we're just finna get right into the video. Okay, so first off, I wanted to kind of reiterate, um, I did get kicked out of my dad's house back in May. Um, it is now September. I'm still living with my friends uh, right now. I did start college. For those who didn't watch my Get Ready With Me on my first day of college vlog, I did start college. So um, with that, a lot of things have really been difficult. Honestly, with the whole college aspect, adding that to my life and having no job. So basically, let me just, <clears throat> that's basically a summary, but I'm gonna break it down. So back in May, my dad kicked me out. Um, Y'all already know about, um, him putting my brother in foster care update i did find my brother i know exactly where he lives who he's living with he still goes to the same school that i would used to go to so um i could go visit him and stuff like that and um i'm happy i found him because i want to you know continue a relationship with him i only have talked to him once though since finding him um i know where he lives like he gave me his address but I don't want to just pop up I want to like introduce myself to the lady he stays with now before I just pop up and stuff because technically legally I'm not supposed to have contact with him but I feel as though he's been knowing me all his life so like for him to just have to find a new life find a new family and try to you know that's gonna be hard for him so I want to be able to build a relationship with her as well as him so I can continue to stay in his life keep him on a positive track you know making sure he stay out of trouble and stuff like that so I will be reaching out pretty soon to uh, figure all that out but as of right now things have really kind of been difficult with the whole college thing like I honestly like college but as y'all know I don't stay on campus um so it has its pros and cons so without staying on campus i have extra financial aid so my college refund check is going to be bigger which i'm going to also use for a car to get to and from school but as of right now it's like the waiting period from like the first day to now um as far as transportation i've been having to catch the bus and stuff like that pay for ubers to get to the transit station catch the bus all the way to the other bus station try to catch that bus on time because bus routes move so quick not only do they move quick but they're one after the other example i got a, got an uber to the transit center rode that bus all the way to the city mind y'all my phone has been off since february because my dad turned my phone off back in february so um once i find a route i stick to the, i try my best to stick to that route because i'm not gonna be able to be able to see what to look up any routes on my phone after i leave because i'm gonna be off wi-fi so um i ride that bus all the way to the city then get on another bus but the thing about that is that bus arrives at like like 7 40 to that the next train i mean tr transit center and i have to catch 
that bus in the city at that city transit center at 7:43. that's three minutes grace period to catch them buses so if my first bus is late getting to the city transit center then i'm gonna be like getting down that second bus and i'm basically gonna be just stuck and that's happened to me plenty of times as far as today i did miss the bus because my uber driver was stuck in traffic so i never even made it to the first transit center so stuff like that is what's really been like difficult with the whole transition into college thing but um i'm trying my best to wait it out so i can get my refund check so i can get me a car and finally finally have a way to and from school and then eventually give me a job and have a way to and from work and also one thing i don't like about the buses is that when they don't run close together they run far apart and it's hot in st louis so normally i don't run into that issue in the morning it's always in the afternoon like I get off the Metrolink, my bus that I'm supposed to catch leaves one minute after the Metrolink arrives. So therefore, I'm not making that bus. I have to make the next bus, which doesn't come in like 30 minutes. And now I'm sitting in the sun in 93, 95 degree weather, like waiting on another bus. It is stressful. I have been getting a little down about it. And I have emailed my teachers to explain, like, which is kind of embarrassing. But, you know, you do what you got to do. But basically to explain like why I can't come to class on time, why I didn't make it, why um, I missed this test. And then that's another thing I don't like having to miss. T I miss tests, then having to make them up. And then when I make them up, even if I was so going to get 100 on that test, I only get partial credit because I missed it the first time. But having to rely on other people is very frustrating and i'm kind of glad that my teachers are working with me and are being understanding because this is like something that's honestly out of my control like i get up at six o'clock every morning as you can see fully fully dressed like i was so ready to go to school but i'm just glad i got understanding teachers honestly so yeah and um also um, my schedule is kind of weird like it's out of whack honestly all the way my Tuesdays and Thursdays I have class at 8 a.m. and then don't have another class until 3 or 4 like p.m. like that's six seven hours I'm sitting on campus and they know I don't live there so it's like I'm just sitting on campus for six seven hours and it's still the beginning of school so it's like I don't really have that much work to do and if I did it wouldn't take me six or seven hours to do so that's really really my only like cons about college which I wouldn't be experiencing if I stayed on campus but also if I stayed on campus I wouldn't be getting a refund check and if I don't get a refund check I can't get a car and I'm still be stuck in the same position because without transportation reliable transportation um I still would be stuck either stuck at school like I'm stuck here but once I get my car I feel like everything is gonna fall into place everything is gonna work out right missing school is so annoying when you care about getting a good education and the fact that it's not your fault that you're missing out on a good education that you're paying for well I'm not paying for it but you know that's being paid for you know it's like that's effed up but I do have all A's as far as my grades, so I'm kind of happy about that. I um, don't really have too much to stress about as far as school. Like I said, it's not college, it's transportation. You know, like balancing a social life and a college life, I've been doing that pretty well. It's honestly just the transportation. People have asked me if I talk to my dad. don't really talk to him at all. Um, he does like little scandalous stuff that I really don't like, and at this point, I'm done trying to you know hang on because he clearly doesn't want me in his life so i'm just gonna exit out of his life completely um i was trying my best to like keep that cordial energy between us but it's not gonna work um example um my father before he kicked me out he gave me a um like a little health credit card thing like debit card thing so like i get points and money the points turn into money for the car like if I go to like a doctor's appointment if I get like um STD testing or like um diabetes testing stuff like that I get points throughout the year and those points add up to money right so I had like $110 on the car you can use it at Walmart I was gonna buy groceries for the whole house or whatever and gets all the way to Walmart the car has a pin 
So I called my dad. I'm like, what's the pin on the card that you gave me? Oh, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm like, you gave me my home health state card or whatever. You gave it to me because they can't, like, technically, I wouldn't be able to use it until I was sit, sit uh, I wouldn't be able to use it until I was 18. So that means when you set up the account, you made a pin for it. And I'm pretty sure the pin number is like the pin number he uses for all his other cards because, ooh, because why would you use a different pin number? You know, something that you were going to forget. So, like, he just wouldn't tell me the pin. I know he knows it. He just wouldn't tell it tell it to me because for whatever reason, just to be evil, you know. And um, I also was thinking about, like, going to church one day, going to the church he preaches at and exposing him. But I don't know if that's the right idea or the right thing to do. Another thing I could really talk about that's been going on in my life is these f boys i'm gonna try my best to stop cussing so much in my videos but these f boys like it's crazy to me like this one dude i was into it's weird like he was into me and i wasn't into him because i thought he was my ex's brother like close friend but apparently that wasn't so when when he was trying to mess with me i wasn't trying to mess with him because i had just got out of a relationship and the first thing i'm thinking is why would i go and date my ex's close friend like that's messed up but it turns out they wasn't friends at all or whatever so i gave him a try gave him a try wrong decision because i caught feelings and he stopped liking me at least i thought he stopped liking me. He started acting real weird towards me, like, real disrespectful. I'm like, you were never like this at first. So, why all of a sudden? You give a boy a chance after he's been basically begging you to mess with him and to be with him. And you give him a chance, try to learn him, figure him out, bond with him. And he do something to F it up. Like... What? what was the point you should never even tell me that you liked me in the first place then what was the point what was the point what did you think was gonna happen but yeah now it's like not not to say i'm in a whole phase but i'm entertaining and testing my options because i'm tired of like like i'm the type of girl i'm, I'm a relationship girl i want a relationship like i not to say i need somebody but i prefer to have somebody to myself type thing you know right now i'm just testing the waters because like i don't know i'm just tired of getting my time wasted i want to feel you out before i even get a chance to have my feelings attached i'm gonna feel you out feel you out feel you out to see what's going on before i cut off everybody else and try to like figure you out on my like by yourself because when i do that i might like you and then like come to find out later on down the road you're not even a good nigga like so what i'm gonna do is test my options that's what i've been doing but my whole thing is a lot of these dudes like to say that they want a certain thing that's another thing another dude i was considering messing with he like made it his mission to to get to know me hit me up he legit out his own mouth said he wanted to be with me then like just last week he texted me and was like i want to if you so bad or something like that and i'm like mm, i said first of all i'm not doing it with nobody like i'm not finna just keep giving my body to well not say keep but i have done it before i'm not finna give my body to people who aren't looking for nothing else besides that i'm a good girl to get to learn i'm interested i'm chill cool smart you know you can learn stuff from me i can learn stuff from you you know um like I don't understand it. Like, how where one day you want to be with me, next day you just want to F me. Why do you... And then that's the thing. I hate liars. Like, I don't know if that's a Taurus in me or what it is, but I hate liars. It's my number one pet peeve. Lying to me will be the one thing that you can never come back from. Like, after you lie to me, I can't see you in the same light because now I feel like you tested my intelligence and you thought I was never going to find out the truth or something. What was the point? If you would just say that from the jump, because it are it is some girls out there that don't look for no type of relationship. They just want to F boys and that's it, you know? It is some girls like that. So, why not be truthful and be like, you know what? I ain't even going to fake it to you. This is what I want. I want to 
have sex, nothing more, nothing less. You know, keep it a stack. Like, why not just keep it a stack? Because you don't even know if that's the type of time I'm on. You assuming that I'm not on that type of time, which I'm not. But the fact that you assume that I wouldn't be and don't know for sure is where you, you got me fucked up. Because I could have been on the same type of time with you if you would have told me the truth. But the fact that you lied and tried to make it seem like you wanted to be with me, you wanted to build something with me. Now, I'm putting myself in that mindset to, to like, on that, trying to be on that level to be with you. But then you start acting weird because you truly don't want to do that. Like, it's just, like, you're wasting your time and my time. But it is this one dude I have been talking to recently. Um, for some reason, I don't know, like, we haven't been talking for that long. I don't want to put nothing out there, but... But, like, we haven't been talking for that long. But, like, out of all the people that I've talked to this entire summer, he's the only one that keeps my interest. He's smart. He, like, like supportive. But he not clingy. And he not, you know, like, forceful with nothing. Like, I kind of enjoy that a little bit. I don't know what it, what it might turn out to be. But, like, so far, he's the only dude that's, like, piqued my interest for real, for real. Like, not to say I like him, because I don't like him. We just, we in a stage of getting to know each other. But he a cool dude. Like, all the other niggas I was talking to, they were either, like, lying to me, saying they wanted to be with me, trying to suit my head up so I can only mess with them and nobody else. And whole time, they, they don't even want to really take me serious as far as relation-wise. Or they only want sex for me. Or they're not interested, they're stupid, like I can't keep a conversation with them. Or they want too much attention from me, they want the girlfriend out of me, but don't want the girl, me as a girlfriend title. Like they want me to like, oh you never text me, like you never text back. I'm not your girlfriend. Plain and simple, I don't need to text you back if I don't feel the need to text you back. They clean you stuff is so annoying. Like, if I'm not blowing your phone up, wanting your attention, you shouldn't be blowing up my phone, wanting my attention. Especially if you're one of those other things. Like, y'all be wanting me to text y'all back so much, but be wasting my time. But compared, it's like, so far, he hasn't done none of that. Like, well, or they, like, for, like, like the whole forcing stuff. Like, they want me to cut everybody off. Like, oh, my gosh, you don't need to talk to nobody. Da, 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 da. Okay, what if I cut off all these people and you end up being shitty? Then what? Now I just lost all these people, these potential boyfriends I could have had because I cut them off thinking you was was on something because you wanted me to cut them off because you want to force a relationship. That's nothing. I don't rush into nothing. I will take my time. That's, that's, that's how I've been figuring out people because if I ever was to rush into anything, not knowing a person completely for who the fuck they are, like, behind closed doors, then... I would be in some real deep shit, and my feelings would stay hurt. Um, as far as that, that's really all the bad stuff that's been going on in my life. Um, good stuff, I could say. Happening in good grades, like I said, good grades. <laughs> I really been managing, honestly. God has been pulling me through. Like, I'm trying my best to hold on to the faith, keep the faith. God has been really getting me through a lot of stuff. Um, as far as not letting things really turn me down to the point where I just don't feel like doing stuff no more. Like, I get to that point sometimes. If you follow me on Instagram, you know. I get to that point sometimes where I'm like, F school, I'm not doing this. This is too much. I can't do it. Like, it's so stressful. It's it's making me mad. You know, I was getting to that point, like, where I was feeling that way, but God wouldn't let me act on it, you know? So, um, and he always been finding a way to get me out of stuff. That I, that's been happening like he'll put little little obstacles in my way and then be like i'm just playing <laughs> honestly with the life i've been living in the last year this stressful life i've been had for the last year i really been managing and i'm so thankful my mama raised me up to believe in god and have something to have faith in because baby if without god i wouldn't have no faith i would be broken all the stuff I've been through, dealing with dudes, dealing with my dad, dealing with my stepmama, dealing with my brother, dealing with the transportation to and from school. I would be broke. Somebody who was in my shoes, somebody who would be in my shoes, who didn't have faith in God, 
would have been done by now would have been out especially the fact that i had a past history with depression like the fact that i have i've climbed out that rabbit hole and i ain't fell back in it yet i'm so proud of myself honestly sometimes that's what you need you just need to be proud of yourself so give yourself a, a hand clap give yourself a pat on the back because sometimes it seems like the world is just on your shoulders but the fact that you keep tread treading through just proves that you're a strong person so don't ever don't ever doubt god even if stuff not seeming to go right you know just keep the faith because in the end it's gonna turn out all right and that's what i gotta keep telling myself you know in the end you're gonna be somebody in the end you're gonna make it to where you want to be in life with youtube you're gonna be successful on youtube you might you might do forex start start doing foreign exchange be successful on that have your degree now you got three forms of income you don't gotta worry about a nine to five you don't gotta worry about being late to work because boom you got a private driver boom you taking trips out the country you know like stuff like that i just i just gotta keep keep my my big goals in mind these little goals that i'm having struggles to get to is gonna mean something once i reach them and once i reach them they gonna help me reach my bigger goals you gotta look at the bigger picture sometimes you know just just sit back reflect like dang i got a lot going on but i still woke up this morning i got another chance to try it again it didn't work yesterday but i got another chance to try it again somebody else didn't get that same chance so sometimes you just gotta you know think about it and and reflect on the good things even if it's not even if the bad outweighs the good sometimes at least you still got that good a lot of people sometimes don't see the good like me i was at that point like everything is just going so wrong but look at you you got another chance to to do it tomorrow you got another chance your teachers are working with you whether you're not you're making it to class on time or not your teachers are working with you your grades are still good you aren't failing any tests you aren't failing any classes so what are you really mad about you know you just gotta sit down and reflect sometimes because i know for a fact if anybody know i most definitely know god is good and he always comes with on time too baby it might not have been my day to go to class today maybe maybe it was bad traffic and i was gonna be late anyways maybe i was potentially gonna be in a car accident maybe the bus was gonna stop working break down you know it's like sometimes it's a reason that god puts certain obstacles in the way to protect you from even more serious obstacles that could break you down completely you know you just gotta think about the, the possibilities in life honestly and how grateful and how um i don't know what the word is blessed blessed that's the word how blessed you really are you know so that's really it for this video um it kind of felt good to get this all out to talk about it um i will be starting to upload videos um more frequently now i am trying to keep up with the wednesday saturday schedule so this video will be up today on wednesday and i promise you guys that um yeah just make sure when you guys comment comment some video ideas because your girl been stuck you know i need to if y'all want me to collab with a certain person let me know hit them up for me send them my, send them my instagram send me their instagram boom got a collab you know like um come up with like different video ideas that y'all want to see i'm starting to like i'm trying to find what what my niche is on youtube honestly because i've really been dib dibbling dabbling in a lot of stuff and i really want to find out what my channel is so basically if you guys like this video um please give me a big thumbs up i need 100 thumbs up y'all i need 100 likes on this video so i can upload my next one on saturday and um yeah I'm finna bring back the her videos and the her tutorials and stuff. I might review this wig tape, honestly, because, baby, look at this. Look at this. Like, and it's, and it's holds well. And comment some video suggestions because, like I said, your girl, your girl need help <laughs> right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Links will be in the description to all of my social media. So don't forget to follow me on there, too. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.